Top 3 Musicians Who Hated Elvis Presley Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll rose to fame in the 1950s and is one of the biggest names in rock history. But did you know that not everyone was a fan of his? In fact, some fellow musicians outright despised him. Elvis' career in the beginning was nothing but controversial. He was severely criticized for his singing and movements. Here are three musicians who publicly expressed their hatred for Elvis Presley. Jerry Lee Lewis Was Jerry Lee Lewis extremely jealous of Elvis? Jerry Lee Lewis, known as The Killer, had a famously volatile relationship with Elvis. Lewis respected Elvis's talent but also felt competitive with him. He believed that he was just as talented and resented Elvis's overwhelming popularity. In November 1976, Jerry Lee Lewis showed up at Elvis Presley's Graceland home with a gun. Lewis was allegedly drunk and demanding to see Elvis. This led to his arrest by the police at the Graceland gates. Lewis and Presley had a complex relationship, both being top rock and roll stars. Jerry Lee Lewis later commented, That hurt my feelings, to be scared of me, knowing me the way he did, was ridiculous. This all happened about nine months prior to Elvis dying. It was sadly the last interaction the two of them had. John Lennon In their early days, John Lennon and his fellow Beatles members were huge admirers of Elvis Presley, often performing his songs. Elvis had a profound influence on Lennon, who famously remarked, Nothing affected me until I heard Elvis. Without Elvis, there would be no Beatles. However, as soon as the pair first met, Lennon realized that Presley was everything he hated. It's no secret that John Lennon was a huge fan of Elvis Presley when he was a teenager. Lennon formed his first band, The Quarrymen, which would later become The Beatles, as a result of his love for Elvis Presley and rock and roll. In a 1980 interview John Lennon stated that, without Elvis, there would be no Beatles. They only met once but it ended badly with both sides disappointed with each other. However, Elvis also felt mocked and disrespected. He never forgot his fury and would erupt in anger at the mere mention of the Beatles legend. He even went all the way to the President of the United States to ask for Lennon to be banned from the country. John Lennon was known for being fairly blunt, according to Chris Hutchins. Apparently, this remained true during their visit with the King. Lennon made his distaste at Elvis Presley's political leanings clear right away. John had annoyed Presley by making his anti-war feelings known the moment he stepped into the massive lounge and spotted the table lamps, model wagons engraved with the message, all the way with Lyndon B. Johnson. Lennon hated President Lyndon Johnson for raising the stakes in the Vietnam War. Lennon would also come to hate Presley's work. Despite his music providing much inspiration when he was young. In 1963 Lennon told Jukebox that he felt the bastion of rock and roll had lost his touch, well, I've got all his early records, and I keep playing them. He must not make another one like this. But somebody said today he sounds like Bing Crosby now, and he does. I don't like him anymore. Frank Sinatra Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley were two of America's most iconic entertainers, and they often had some pointed criticisms of each other. In 1957, Frank Sinatra criticized rock and roll, the genre of music that Elvis Presley was known for. Sinatra referred to it as the most brutal, ugly, degenerate, vicious form of expression it has been my displeasure to hear, and described it as phony and false. He also made derogatory remarks about the artists involved in rock and roll. American culture wasn't ready for rock and roll in general. Sinatra saw rock and roll as a threat to the morals of young America. Sinatra said, it fosters almost totally negative and destructive reactions in young people. Rock and roll smells phony and false. It is sung, played, and written for the most part by cretinous goons. While Frank Sinatra initially expressed negative opinions about Elvis Presley and rock and roll, their relationship evolved over time, and they eventually became friends. 